beautiful people and welcome to Fun in the Kitchen with April. So today I'm going to do something a little different for you guys today. As you can probably see, I have a whole bunch of stuff on my table I want to show you. So what I'm going to do is, being that we are in a pandemic, and not just for a pandemic, but for any emergency, I want to show you how to get ready if you are caught in an emergency. I'm going to just kind of give you some items and what I'll do in the, in the description box, I'll go ahead and put the items there for you and show you where you can get some of these things at. Okay, now keep in mind, my husband and I have purchased all of these things. So nothing was given to us for free. We're not um, sponsored by anyone. These are all things that we bought ourselves and some of the things that we found help when you're caught in an emergency. Okay, so we'll get into it in a minute. Okay, so as you can see on this table, I have a lot of stuff. And these are the things, just some of the things, this is not all of them. These are just some of the things that we started putting in a bag just in case we are ever caught in an emergency situation. And these are some of the things that you might want to have yourself. Um, so what I'll do is I'll start showing you some things. And if you'd like on another episode, I can... Um, show you how some of these things work we can get more into it just comment below and also remember like I just said before look but down below in the description box and I will have these things there for you listed okay and where you can get some of them so this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna show you first I want to start with these little bottles here, these are just travel size bottles that you can get anywhere. Um, and we put seasonings and oils and um, hot sauce, you know, different little things, just easy things that you can pack up that's light. That's the key. You want to pack light. You don't want anything too heavy. Just something that you can have should you be caught in an emergency and you have little items in there and seasoning for food that you can carry with you and um little um your foods would be like a can of ravioli um tuna sardines stuff like that stuff that's easy to carry around okay so next we have flashlights now flashlights are very important I have two different flashlights here. These are like kind of rugged, I guess. Um, but they're very important because what if it's dark and you're somewhere and you know, you're in the middle of nowhere and there's no light. So what are you gonna do? You gonna put that flashlight on. That's what you're gonna do, right? Okay. So then you also wanna have a little, what we call our bug out pantry. <laughs> and it's just a bag that you put all kind of things and so here we go. We have our raviolis, we have gloves in here, things of that nature and all of these things go into our bag hair, okay? We also have tie straps because you never know when you may need to tie something to keep it from rolling around, all of those, all of those things. Of course, most definitely, you always wanna have your first aid kit, okay? Whether you have a big or a small first aid kit, it doesn't matter, but you wanna have the essentials in there. And so your essentials would be aspirin, gauze, band-aids, um, steri strips, uh, um, things like um, uh, a cold pack that you can automatically open up, tweezers, whistle, uh, stuff like that, anything. Um, Oh, if you get stung by something, you have those things in here, okay? So these are the things that you want to have. Very important. Very important to have a first aid kit and everything that you're going to need, okay? Um, we also have extra little um, 
aspirin in our bottles as well. You're definitely gonna need your hand sanitizers, any kind of hand sanitizer, but it needs to be small so that you can pack light. That's the key, packing light is the key, okay? Um, you want batteries because why? If you have flashlights, you don't wanna be caught out there and your flashlight doesn't work and you don't have any batteries. Wouldn't that be something, okay? So also, you know, us as females, it's hard for us to use the restroom when we're out and there's no restroom. I found this little handy thing that is specifically for women. It's called Go Girl. I said, oh my goodness, this is something every woman should have. I'm gonna um, <laughs> open it up for you just so you can see what Go Girl looks like. But what it, what it is, is it has like a little urinal, if I can get it open right quick. But it has a little urinal in there and it helps us to use the bathroom if we're out in the woods somewhere or we're stuck and there is no restroom, okay? And it has also a little baggie and toilet tissue in there, okay? Um, so that's very important because, you know, us as women, we have a hard time using the bathroom out and about. Okay, so these are just some things that you want to have. Also, we have a little empty container. You can hook this on your bag as well. It's light. You put a few things in here, anything you want, nothing specific, anything that you want to compact, you can put it right in here. Okay, and give me a second. Let me come back and I'm going to show you a few other things. Okay. I am back. I just wanted to get some things ready because I'm going to demonstrate something for you. So here we have some cotton balls, a multi-tool. This is a Gerber. Um, everyone should have a multi-tool. Letterman is the best, but everyone should have a multi-tool. It has everything you need in there. A fire striker, and this is your multi-use bracelet for many different things. And this has a cool little gadget on there. This also will strike a fire as well, okay? And I also have my handy ax, but everybody's not walking around with an ax. We are not fighting the 13th around here, okay? So I'm not gonna show you how to use your ax today, but this is handy as well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get ready to demonstrate how to start your fire because should you be in a situation where you need to start a fire for anything, whether to keep warm, cook a meal or whatever, you need to know how to start a fire. Now this is my first time doing this, so my husband is going to assist me and I'm going to use this plate and this aluminum foil because I don't wanna burn up my table, okay? So we're gonna take the cotton out of here because remember I told you I have cotton in here. And then I'm going to kind of rough this cotton up just a little bit, just like that, okay? And I'm gonna lay it out right there on my aluminum foil. Okay, so I have my multi-tool. This is my multi-tool. You can use anything in here. It doesn't matter what you use. It'll strike a fire, okay? Um, and this is your fire striker. That's what I'm calling it. I guess that's what it is. And we're gonna lay this here, and this is the part that you use to strike your fire, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna do it, and you do it very quickly. Oh, this is my first time, so bear with me. Uh-oh. Like I said, this is my first time. I'm not an expert at this, but it may take you a few times as well. My husband may need to help me, but I'm a woman okay. and I want to do it myself. See, this is your first time. This is my first time. He's going to show okay. me how to do it. You put it here and you want to hold it and strike it with force. See? I don't want to strike it, but you want to push down with force. Okay. Hard. So I'm going to try it again. And just aim it at the cut. Oh, hell it. Don't, don't just play with it. I am. I'm putting it on this. Right here. There we go. I got it. You see that? That's what you got to do. Okay? And it burns quickly. And there goes your fire. Okay. Let me put this out so we don't burn nothing up. Hold on a minute. Hold on. And these are just a few items that we 
one and a half for survival. So what I'm going to do, because I don't want to make this video too long for you guys, I'm going to um, do another video for you and we can get more in detail about how to use these items. This is, this is definitely a lifesaver here. It, even if you just had this in your bag, this has absolutely everything you need. And I'll get into that later on another episode and I can break it apart and show you everything that's in there. So I just wanted to show you a few things today. I hope you learned something. But I really want you to comment below, share, like, subscribe, and let me know how you like this video. We did something a little different today. We didn't cook. But next time we will be cooking and I will show you, I will definitely demonstrate to you how this, I love this. The firebox stove. I'm going to demonstrate how this works next time. Okay, so comment below. Let me know what all you want to see and how each and everything works to save your life. Again, share, like, subscribe, and definitely give me the thumbs up for this video. And as always, I will see you next time. Bye.